Smith and welcome to Reader Q&A. Perhaps you are coming here to get the question answered that you saw on the Frequently Asked Question page in my book, Seeing the Voice of God. Or perhaps you just found these videos online and you're curious. But either way, today we're going to be answering the question, how do you know if a dream is from God or just stress? I think one of the main reasons that people dismiss their dreams is that they assume the dream came due to their own stress, you know, about a certain situation. Oh, it was on my mind anyway, and that's why I dreamed about it. Instead of maybe mixing it with a little bit of faith and saying, I've been asking God to do something about this, and maybe this is his way of answering or of giving me clues. So let's say um, someone you care about, like a child, a parent, a friend, they've been in a bad place and you're concerned about them, so you start to pray. You better be praying for them. And then you have a dream one night. They're in danger. Um, you see the trap being laid for them and the situation that they're in. Was that dream a result of your own worry or was it a warning dream from God showing you how to pray? So my answer is another question. Did the dream leave you fearful? Because if it did, it probably wasn't from the Lord. Because when God gives you a dream about a loved one being in danger, when you wake up, you should feel empowered like you've been given top secret intelligence on where the enemy is planning to entrap them next. You should feel emotions like sobriety, gratitude, um, the fear of the Lord. But remember, Proverbs says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And so that kind of fear, uh, which is awe mixed with gravity, is gonna make you feel like you're authorized and have a legal right to stop the enemy in his tracks. Did you already possess that authority before the dream? Yes, Luke 10, 19 says Jesus has given us authority over all the power of the enemy. But I'm just saying that the dream makes you realize that you have it and it will unshackle you from fear. I talk more about warning dreams in chapter two of seeing the voice of God. I always say they're not set in stone. They're not fate. We don't even believe in fate, right? These dreams are an assignment. And so if you do your job well in prayer, these dreams will never come to pass. You know, not praying what's wise in your own eyes, but what's wise in God's eyes. Imagine five minutes of striving prayer from your own mind or 10 seconds of bullseye pre-approved prayer, pre-approved because you've skipped the whole Lord, if it's your will, step, because God's already shown you how to pray in a dream. Wow. And then always, always confirm what you see in his word because he will never have you pray anything that contradicts his written word. So if you wake up anxious and, you know, gasping in terror because of something you've seen, the dream is from the enemy or from your own worry. I mean, in another frequently asked question video, we're going to, and nightmares and night terrors, we're going to discuss worry even more because Ecclesiastes 5.3 does indi indicate that busyness and worry can alter your dreams. Until then, I'm Laura Harris-Smith, and I'll see you next time on Reader Q&A.